four Olympic gold medals at five consecutive Olympic Games, 11 World Championship golds. Sir Ben Ainsley is one of the most successful sailors of all time, from single-handed dinghy sailing to the America's Cup, the legendary race filled with history, technology, tactics, and emotion. His adventure continued and a new team was born with a bespoke base to build a British challenger for the trophy. Ben Ainsley Racing attempted the impossible to win the America's Cup at its very first attempt. Innovation is at the heart of Formula One and the America's Cup, making Martin Whitmarsh a perfect signing to lead the new British team. Martin's motor racing leadership propelled McLaren Mercedes Formula One team to multiple podiums, and he was instrumental in launching McLaren's applied technologies business. This was the next chapter. Sir Ben and Martin collaborated to launch Bar Technologies. Our background has been in the marine world and, and racing yachts, but actually seeing the opportunity and wanting to do something a bit more meaningful, certainly in terms of the environment. America's Cup is the Formula One of yacht racing. It's where technology is being developed to find performance. People think about racing as a pursuit of performance, but actually performance is achieved by getting some real efficiency. And it's that efficiency is what we think we can now move from a racing environment into a commercial marine opportunity. Cargill is a large company which has been around for over 150 years. It's uh, moving feed and food across the world and is doing that in a safe, responsible and sustainable way. At any point in time we will have six to seven hundred ships on the water and with that we think comes a big responsibility. Shipping now had really ambitious targets set by the, the IMO to reduce carbon emissions by 40% by 2030, 50% by 2050. So that's a hugely challenging set of targets that have been set and we feel the great opportunity to bring our technologies to help achieve those targets. The challenge was really around reaching out to the industry and say help. Who's got ideas to really make a difference on the decarbonisation specifically for the maritime industry? Bartek brought this completely novel technology. It was totally striking when we first saw it. They're very creative people, but most importantly, they have an impressive modeling capability, and that's exactly what we needed. Wind wings are large, solid wing sails, which can be fitted to the deck of ships to act as propulsive devices, harnessing the power of the wind to reduce the fuel consumption and therefore the emissions produced by the ship there can be up to 45 metres in height and one, two, three, four, even more can be fitted to any given ship depending on its individual performance profile and the routes it's used on. Putting very efficient wing structures onto these large vessels could give us a 30% reduction in the carbon emissions. Putting large wings on commercial vessels isn't conventional and it's taken a company such as Cargill to really have the vision to push us to go into this technology and to introduce wings on large commercial vessels. Right now we're pulling a team of companies together to deliver the first vessels. Delta Marin, our naval architect, is already in the team. We're going to be sharing risk and expertise to make this happen. We're going to start with product tankers and move on to dry bulk vessels. Well, we're now into the detailed design phase of the project, going through the loops to balance the final extra few percentage in gains in performance versus delivering the most robust, reliable design to market. When we fully optimise that design concept, we expect to see over 30% emissions savings, which is a huge and very significant number. One of the reasons why I think this partnership works, and whether it's in sport, business or sustainability, if you really want to succeed, you need a vision, you need dedication, inspiration and above all, collaboration. We've got all of these and more. It's a fantastic project and we're very excited to partner with Cargo. I guess we both have a race ahead of us. Ben is off to New Zealand, hopefully wins another America's Cup. In the meantime, we need to keep on pushing the project because we have a huge challenge ahead of us. Mm -hmm.